Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a like first impression review tutorial of the not so new anymore, semi slightly very controversial Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. I'm sure if you're very up in the know about most makeup items, you'll know that this palette had a ton and ton and ton of bad reviews. Um, the second it came out, I really wanted it. I really, I just loved the colors on it. Um, I thought they were very different, very unique, something that I've never really seen before. So I was planning on buying it originally, and after one of my friends was like, uh, have you seen the reviews on that? I was like, no. And I checked them, and they were a bust. Um, a lot of my favorite YouTubers were saying, don't buy this palette. Well, not exactly saying don't buy this palette, but they didn't recommend it. Um, a lot of online reviews were saying that this palette just was not that great, save your money. And I was just like, oh, great. So, I kept digging deeper. I couldn't really let it go because it's so pretty. So, last week I was just checking a lot of the reviews on it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Ulta, swatch some of the shades, see how they look. Um, probably buy it and try to do a look with it. So that's what I wound up doing. I went to Ulta, I bought it, I was like, oh, beauty world, do not fail me with this purchase. So in this video, we're gonna try it out together. We're gonna laugh, we're gonna cry, we're gonna see what this palette does to a person because apparently it's not that great. If you would like to see how I got this very bronzy, coppery, I don't know what to call it, eyeshadow look. Um, and if you would like to see my thoughts on the subculture palette, then keep watching. So here is the subculture palette. I'm so excited. Oh, oh what's this? It's so soft. What is this? Oh, it's just a little caution and warning. Discontinue use of signs of irritation or rash appear. Dude, oh my gosh, it's so soft. Well, I mean, I have the Modern Renaissance palette, so it's very simple. Whoa, I just opened it, sorry. I didn't show you. Guys, this is gorgeous. Okay, but to be honest, my electric shade kind of looks like it took a little beating in the pan. <laughs> but here are the colors. It came with a little brush. <laughs> I will zoom in so you can take a closer look, but First things first, I really, I just love these colors so much. I do them so much. <laughs> so here's the palette all zoomed in. So you can see they are gorgeous colors. We have like a very, two very, very shimmery shades and the rest are like very matte. So it's like a very matte kind of palette, I'd say. I think the white's shimmery to be honest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the white's shimmery too. Cube. I think I'm gonna kinda do like a yellowy look. What am I wearing today? I don't know. I don't know what to do, guys. I think I'm gonna start. Okay. I think I'm gonna do yellowy and use a door on my eyelid. That'll be cute. That'll be really cute, guys. I'm glad I'm gonna it. So I'm gonna use a brush first. The brush is pretty soft. Usually the brushes aren't bad. Like I think, I think I threw out my other brush like by accident, but the other brush that came in the Modern Renaissance palette was pretty good. Okay, we're gonna jump in. Okay guys, so I've already done my foundation, done my eyebrows, done, primed my eyelids, set. I do it with concealer now. I just feel like, I mean, yeah, eyeshadow primer probably helps and is better. But, I mean, you can just use a concealer and a setting powder to just set it. And I think it works just as good. I mean, usually when I have to wear an eye look all day and have to, I want it to stay, like, the same way, then I'll use eyeshadow primer. But here lately, like, if I'm only wearing eye makeup for, like, a couple hours, then I'm just going to use my concealer and a setting powder. I'm going to start off with the shade Dawn. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's called Dawn. <laughs> the shade... And I'm going to just start putting that in my crease. OK, 
Okay, not gonna lie. These shadows are very, very folly outy. Very folly outy. So this shade, it's very, very light. Like, I mean, it's pigmented, but I'm not, maybe it's like too close to my skin tone. It's very like skin tone colored. I don't understand. No, okay, okay, it looks pretty good. I like it. Now, let me note I don't know if you can see it very well, but there was right much fallout in this shade and that's one thing that definitely got a, bad, a lot of bad reviews, a lot of bad reviews on this palette and when I tapped it off, almost like all that pigment, it looked like came off the brush. So I just very lightly dipped into it and put it on and it seemed to work pretty good. I mean, I don't really have any complaints yet. But that was just the first color. So, let's get to the next one. Okay, the next color I think I'm going to use... <sighs> next, I'm going to be using New Wave. Is that New Wave? Yeah. New Wave. And I'm going to take the same brush, the one that I came with, to just apply that again to my crease. Okay, so far I don't think this color is as bad. Like... Um, fallout wise. Let's try it out, honey. Whoa, that is some pigment. Shook. You guys see how pigmented that is? That's really pigmented. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. No regurts yet, man. No regurts. Dipping in some more. I kind of like this. I mean, yeah, it's very... I don't know, you gotta kind of work for the blend, I feel like. But I really like it, I mean, I don't think it's terrible like people say it is. Who knows? Who am I? Who am I? Next, let's see, I know one of the shades that got a lot of controversy was the shade All Star. So I'm kind of skeptical to use that one, but... I don't know, should I use All Star or Fudge? Eh, let's be crazy. Let's use All Star. So I'm next gonna go in with All Star. I'm very scared. Probably for me, children's. I'm scared. I'm really scared. High key, really scared. Okay. And I dipped once. Dipped twice, and here we go. I don't like this color. What the heck? I mean, I guess it wasn't that bad, but like, I don't like it. I don't like this color. Okay. We're not using that color, guys. So I'm gonna go back and put a little bit more of New Wave over this hot mess. Ew. Ew, I don't like it. It's like it stayed in one tiny spot and didn't move and it looks like dark. Ew, I don't like it. I'm going back in with some New Wave. See if that, I feel like it's just making it darker. What the actual heck? You know 
but my hair covers this eye anyway, so it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, really. Don't use All Star. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just because I'm scared of it, but literally, like, I don't, you probably can't really see, but do you see, like, this little square right here? How it's so much darker? Like, that shouldn't happen. Like, I have so many burgundy shades, and none of them do that. Like, it almost, like, it just got really dark and just stayed in that spot. No. Nope. No more. No. No, 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 honey. All right, let's see if we can try to save this train wreck so far. Hey. Um, I'm going to go in with fudge next. Going in with fudge because no one likes you, All-Star. <laughs> Guys, just don't beat your palettes to death. Like, if you just really, really lightly touch these colors, it's not that much fallout. Like, it's fine. But I'm sure if you're like beating your palette to death, there is going to be a ton of fallout. So don't just keep tapping it, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with fudge right about there. Oh, wow, that's really dark. Okay, but it's not bad. It's pretty. I do like it. I like it a lot better than All Star. Did you see that? The fly landed right on my head. Okay, so really this this does it. You don't need a lot of pigment. Like, okay. I like it. I like it. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Like all the colors I'm gonna do right there. Low key. More like high key. I should not have used all stars. I feel like that messed me up and I feel like that's why I think that this isn't turning out as well. But, gotta do what you gotta do. You Next, I'm gonna use Adorn. This color right here. When I got their, I checked their reviews on Ulta, obviously, before I bought this palette. And I've watched a lot of makeup reviews, tutorials on it, or whatever. And on the Ulta reviews, I saw comments about not only All Star. Adorn did not get a lot of good reviews on Ulta either. So, hopefully, people in their reviews just lying about this color because I'm about to use this color all over my lid. I swatched this color in Ulta and I thought it was gorgeous but swatches tend to turn out differently. Okay, so so far it's okay, but I'm definitely going to need some setting spray because it's not very bright. So let's try this. And let's try again. Okay, there we go. I think that's better. You see my friend, he just loves landing over here. He's great. Oh my gosh, okay, I really do like this shade, to be honest. Like you definitely need to wet your brush and I feel like some people don't really know that, especially if you're a beginner. Um, wetting your brush makes the pigment so much better, hunty. Use that tip. If anything, use that tip. But yeah, I really like this color actually. I feel like it blends really well together with New Wave and Fudge. So I feel like they really complement each other. They're really good shades. I'm not too disappointed. I, I mean, I am with All Star. All Star, I'm about to take him out, rip him out, and just burn him. Okay, I really, I think, I really like this. I think, I think, guys. I think it's really cute. Okay, guys. I think this is our finished look. I'm just gonna throw <laughs> that down. Okay, what do we think about the subculture palette? 
I think, to be honest, it's a very great palette. If you're looking for the colors like I was looking for, this is definitely a good palette for you. Literally, the two main colors I want are like literally the colors of the packet. The packet. The package. Um, and of course, I only tried one, two, three, four, five shades, and there's 14 shades. So of course, I haven't tried every single shade. Out of the five I tried, one was an absolute bust. I will never, ever, ever use All Star again unless I'm like getting risky and like wanting to test it out again and be like, maybe it's not gonna hate me this time. But All Star was a <laughs> But the rest of the five, I think, I just, I really think they were all great. I mean, Adorn, again, um, it said that it didn't have the best reviews. Um, but I thought Adorn was great. If you just wet your brush, it applied very nicely for me. So I think it looked very good. I think the eye look looks really good. It's not a perfect palette by far. The Modern Renaissance palette I do think is a bit better. Um, pigmentation, everything blendability wise maybe. Um, I think it's definitely a better palette. But I love these colors and I'm sure colors like this, the formula might be kind of hard to create. So regardless, I would definitely be continuing using this palette um, if you want to try it out for yourself and you have the money to, by all means, go do it, honey. If not, um, I'm sure you could find dupes for these eyeshadows. I'm, I've been trying to look for some for a lot of these. Um, I guess obviously I haven't been trying hard enough because I just bought the palette instead. But um, I don't know. I just, I like it guys. I like it. No denying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I was going to hate this palette. I thought it was going to be like, why did I waste my money? Ulta, I'm coming back for you. But no, I'm, I mean really, I'm really not disappointed. I mean if one shade out of the whole palette is a bust, what can I say? Which of course, I'm going to be using the rest of the shades eventually. Not right now, obviously, because I only have my gorgeous look here. I really like it. It's highly approved. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to act professional, I'm really not. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't give it a thumbs down, even though we all want to give the shade All Star a thumbs down. Be sure you comment new video ideas that you would like to see. <laughs> There's another thing I'm forgetting. Oh, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I'm very grateful for all the people following right now, even if I forced you into it. I love you people. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya! I almost forgot how my outro was. <laughs> like, I'm trying to make it the same like most people, and I just couldn't remember. I was just like, it was a train wreck. <laughs> see ya! <laughs>